All right, hey guys, today we will be adding a head bobbing system to our already added true first person character. So in the last tutorial, if you missed it, we made a true first person, a uh, realistic true first person character. Um, and so today we're going to be adding on that, adding a head bobbing system. Um, if you missed it, I will add a card for it so you can go back and watch that tutorial if you want to create that. But let's get started with uh, our tutorial today. So we want to go into our blueprints and we want to um, open up our first person blueprint. Um, we will deal with this in a second, but firstly, before we do so, we want to go to effects and let's actually create a head bobbing um, and camera streak component. So we want to go into blueprints, go into all classes, and you'll look up camera shake. And it'll be legacy camera shake, the one that we actually want for our oscillation. So we'll select that and we're actually going to need three of them. So we're going to do BP underscore idle for our idle camera shake duplicate this and do bp underscore uh, sprint and then bp underscore walk for all three different camera shakes so now we're going to open them up and they're going to be read only so we're not going to actually do anything like that they're just going to be uh, data only inputs so we're going to actually um, open up the raw oscillation because that's the one of the main things that we're going to be editing but before we do so we want the oscillation duration to be 0.25 um, and we want to make sure that we select single instance for all of these. So now we want to go to the raw oscillation. We want to uh, open up pitch, yaw, and roll. And we want to make sure, I mean, you can set them to whatever values you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to set to 0 0.5, 3.5, uh, random and sine waves, 0 0.4, 2.0, random and sine waves, um, 0 0.2 and then one for the frequency. And then you can keep the rest the same. We will compile and save, that's for the idle. Then we'll open up the sprint. For the sprint, again, we're gonna to wanna to do 0 0.25. Um, then we're going to want to make sure that we select single instance. And if you wanted, you could have done um, those two things before and then duplicated the camera shakes that way. Um, I decided to do the other way just because um, I didn't think of it beforehand, but for the amplitude, we're going to want to do 0 0.8 for pitch and 18 for frequency. Um, again, keeping random and sine wave. I think we do that throughout. And then we're going to want to do 0 0.6 and 9 for frequency. These are the settings I had uh, previously set up, so I am referencing those. Um, then we're going to want to have 0 0.6 for the roll's amplitude. Or, uh, I apologize, 0 0.4 for the roll's amplitude and then 7 for the frequency. Remember to have single instance ticked, compile and save. And then lastly, we will be going into our BP underscore walk, again, setting the oscillation duration to 0.25, ticking single instance, and then making sure that we go into our pitch and we're going to set our pitch to, um, our pitch's amplitude to 0 0.6, our frequency to 7.5, and then keeping random and sine wave throughout and still doing amplitude is 0 0.4 for yaw um, and six for frequency and then 0 0.4 for our amplitude for roll and then three for our frequency. And once you have done all that, you can compile and save and close all of these camera shakes. Okay, so now after we have all of our head bobbing um, and legacy shake components set up, we want to actually go to our first person character and initialize them. So let's actually make a function called uh, initialize head bob and start working on the logic that creates this head bob. So we're going to want to create a branch. We're going to want to check a couple of things to see if uh, and when we can do those head bobs. So um, firstly, we're going to want to make an and rule because we want to check a couple of different things. So we're going to check and see if we're moving. Um, that's, that's first because if we're not moving, then we want to be um, using the idle camera shake. So we're going to do velocity or get velocity. And off of the actor's get velocity, we're going to want to get the vector length. And off of these two, we're going to want to see if they're greater than a certain value. So let's see if they're greater than zero, because if it's greater than zero, then that means we're moving. So if it's greater than zero, and if we can jump, 
and that is true um then that means we're not idle so we're gonna go off of false and we're going to uh start client or client start camera shake so we're gonna go off of false and client start the way that you do it is actually supposed to be off of the get player controller so i'm gonna get player get player controller and from there we're going to client start camera shake so this will actually go into the false node because it means that we uh, are not moving so we're going to grab this we're going to grab the get player controller and set this up like so and like i said earlier it's going to be bp underscore idle we're going to want to make sure to keep it like this and since this is the false we're going to put it down a little bit um, and we're actually going to want another check um, to see if they're sprinting versus walking because we made a sprint and a walk component so if you just had a walk component in your game you would only need uh it would just either be this false uh, or true but since this character has a sprint uh mechanism that we created in the last tutorial um we're going to have two different um we're gonna have another branch right here so we're gonna make another if and we're going to say okay off of this vector length that we have right here we want to see if it's greater again and since um or sorry see if it's less and we're going to see if it's less than 300 because this all this is all dependent on the speed of um your character but if it's less than the sprint speed then um you're going to want to either start sprinting or start walking so this is less so what that means is it's we're going to start um the client camera shake and since it's less than 300 that means we're going to be walking in in this tutorial sake and then that means that this false will go to um it will go to client start camera shake and this will be the running camera shake or the sprint camera shake so now i'm going to go over this one last time to make sure it is apparent so firstly we have an if statement and we want to check two things so we want to check and see if the velocity or movement of the character um, is greater than zero by getting the vector length and we will see if if it is greater than zero and it can jump then that means it is not idle so that means false would be going to idle where they have a blueprint um camera shake com uh functionality and then if it is true though then we have to check another thing we have to see if it's walking or if it's sprinting so we're going to see again that um vector length from the velocity and if it's less than 300 which is the speed that i set up with my personal character then it is going to be walking because it's less than the sprint speed but if it's greater than um or equal to then we are going to be using the sprint camera shake so now we are going to have to go to the event graph and actually have to utilize this because we only made the functionality we never did anything with it so let's go to the event graph and let's create a custom event and let's call it maybe head bob and we're going to initialize head bob to head bob and then off of event tick if you don't already have this i'm going to create it and we're going to want to call head bob and now as you as you'll see this will make it so when we walk or when we're idle you can see it now in the background let me make this a little bit bigger you can see the camera moves as you're idle, a slight movement. And then when you walk, there is a slight walking movement. And then when you run, there's an even faster movement. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was informative and helped you. Um, and we will be adding a depth of field system in the next tutorial. So this is just the beginning. Oh, and one last thing before this tutorial ends. If you did follow the last tutorial, you've seen that I um, made in the, cam in the uh, character movement in the blueprint, we changed where is it the air control instead of making that zero let's actually make it something like 0 0.15 this will make it so um as you just seen hold on i'll show you again in situations like this where before we would jump instead of going forward we just go straight up you now are able to jump onto things which is a lot more realistic but the default by unreal engine is more of a video game style but since we are creating um a realistic true first person character we want to make it as realistic as possible so um, changing that is also pretty vital now i do hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial like i said previously um and yeah so we're going to be creating an auto depth of field system in the next tutorial so yeah i'll see you guys later